Well, hello there. It's Daniel Campbell again, here from QA Bootcamp. I uh, figured today I'd just do some basic-ass QA, you know? Why not just uh, do something simple? So, um, I went ahead and gathered, let me see, it's one, two, three, four, five different bugs real quick uh, to go over. Um, I, I need to do another video at some point of me actually finding the bug, but I'm really really think that's gonna be super boring for people to watch but you know you never know but anyway um so basically what the bug is for this one oh this is a let me think exactly it said pentiment i think is the name of this game uh it is from uh obsidian which are awesome uh if you ever uh, want to do any kind of like just freelance qa for free uh, they are actually really good about getting back to people and uh, talking to them and all that stuff so um but anyway this particular bug is that if the it's an animation issue uh it's very very minor but you know it's a shipped game that is 2d and very simple so i imagine a lot of bugs probably have been found out by now but uh the, basically if you start to switch directions as this sort of stopping animation goes um it, the character appears to slide backward for just a moment before they actually turn around um the, the timing for this is really specific you actually have to um do it during the sort of stopping animation so when you're walking let me see if i can't boot up the game real quick and show you guys which is exactly what i mean okay so here we are back in the game and uh hopefully you guys can still hear me i had to move my mic so basically uh it's actually very timing dependent so if i were to do this and then stop and then turn around obviously it works fine if i am going and then quickly turn around it works fine as well because it has a really quick uh transition animation but you'll notice whenever you stop moving there's that little animation right there where it kind of shuffles his feet and comes at rest that's the point where that's the timing where if you start to turn around is when it messes up so go if i do it too fast it doesn't do it so overall very minor but it is an animation issue uh, like i say qa we don't get to decide what's worth bugging we just bug everything um unless it comes to the end of the project and then it then, then it comes to all right don't bug any you know don't bug anything unless it's serious so but that that's a that's another topic entirely all right, so this will be really kind of cheesy for you guys to hear, um, but I try to a lot of time narrate a video, a short video of the bug, uh, just so I can sort of, you know, there's a lot of things that you can't really get across in text, and sometimes it's confusing, So, and I speak really weirdly anyway. Um, so I'll go ahead and uh, narrate a quick video real quick. Go, oh, just a moment. Get my thing ready. All right. Okay, so the bug here is uh, there's a slight animation uh, animation issue. Uh, so whenever you are playing the sort of stop animation of after you're done walking, um, if you start to reverse direction the other way, the character starts to move uh, without playing any kind of transition animation or anything like that. So there for a moment, it really looks like they're starting to sort of uh, slide backwards uh, without playing, playing in the animation. So um, that is the bug. Thank you. Okay, so I'm not actually going to post, uh, or I'm going to post the bug to them, but I'm not actually going to um, uh, do the video for this because I don't have two instances of OBS running, so it's either I record this or I record the video. I just could, you know, open up another instance of OBS, but, you know, that that would have taken some, uh, some forethought. Let's do that real quick. There we go. Uh, Windows doesn't like that, but there we go. Okay, so um, I haven't finished writing it yet, so let me go and finish writing it, and then I will, uh, I'll show you the end result. Okay, so you know I'm always preaching proofread, 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 and that my bugs are awful when they're first written. This is a good example. So I would usually cover this up and be like, all right, I'm not going to show them me proofreading, but it's very important. So uh, let me see. The player character will appear. Or how about, and brevity is the soul of wit. If you can say something in less words, do that. So the player character slides backwards when quickly changing their directions. Changing movement direction during the stopping walking uh -huh. I don't love that but I don't really I'd have to probably restructure this last part just to get it to work right but I, I think it gets the point across so let's move to our steps um, enter an area where the player character's movement speed is restricted to walking um, I actually don't need this you can do it outside of uh, the non-walking areas so I'll go ahead and uh, make a note of that real quick Please note that step one is not completely necessary. Terrible speller. Not completely necessary. This can happen anywhere the player is able to move. 
walk. However, the timing is very specific, so it is far easier to repro in an interior, interior location. Like I said, I'm a terrible speller. Produce. There we go. <clears throat> cool, cool, cool. All right, so let's go over this again. Um, move the character in a direction. Stop moving. During the stopping animation, quickly reverse the character's movement direction. Observe the movement. Wait, observe for a moment. Hmm. Observe the character appears to walk backwards. I don't really need to specify the timing there. Uh, result, the player character slides backwards while moving. The player character plays a transition animation or does not move. Okay, cool. We're good there. Let's go ahead and bold this. Alright, please note that step one is not completely necessary. Not necessary. This can happen anywhere the player is able to walk. However, the timing is very specific, so it is far easier... It's very easy to reproduce in an interior location. Okay, uh, I'm okay with this. All right, so I've gotten re lately where I actually like to put like uh, screenshots and videos and stuff like that above the description um, because I feel like it's sort of an, I'm experimenting with it right now. Uh, if you were to uh, have a good enough short description, which this is not a good enough short description, uh, but if you have a really good short description or description. Uh, they, they're probably going to want to see the screenshot or, or video right away, whereas a lot of times people will miss out on the video or screenshot if it's down at the bottom. Um, I've seen that happen a lot, and a lot, I mean, I I work pretty hard on a lot of these videos sometimes, so not this video, but you know what I mean. Um, yeah, so yeah, it, it makes sense to try and do it that way. So let me go ahead and upload the video real quick, because it will not let me attach it to the, uh, to the email, obviously, it's way too big. So I uploaded this to my Google Drive. I'm grabbing this link now, so I'm not sure you guys can't see that. All right, link to video demonstration. Okay, and I don't haven't used Thunderbird in so long. Oh, here we go. Insert link. There we go. All right, bam. Um, okay. Guess that'll work. All right, cool. Um, let's go and set it off. Bam. Sweet, sweet, sweet. All right, let's move on to the next one. And for the sake of brevity, I might go ahead and uh, just cut a lot of the uh, the useless talking and stuff like that as I go into the other other bugs. Uh, but that first bug is probably a good demonstration of uh, how I'm going to write the rest of these up. So, um, yeah, I'll cut real quick and be back with the next one all right all right so for this one um basically the the game has these texts uh, a lot of the text that like is flavor text it's like got underlines to it so you can look it up in a glossary uh it's usually people's names location names stuff like that um the bug here is that the lines tend to show up before the text does um it's very brief and not a big you know obviously not a big deal but i would definitely classify it as like a low priority bug um, but here I want to show the importance of, of what you do in paint. So like here's the way it's going to look, obviously. But if uh, you really want the bug to kind of be more obvious to people, and it's not like they wouldn't notice this. They would definitely notice this. But all this empty space uh, doesn't accentuate the bug. I know it's kind of cheating to do this sometimes. Some, and, and you know what? Actually, there are some devs that hate whenever people do this. But uh, hmm, I'm trying to find the most diplomatic way of saying it. Uh, those devs usually are upset that you're trying to make a mountain out of a molehill in their mind um that but i i just prefer to better show the bug so it's not you know difficult to see or in any way shape or form you know uh up for question <laughs> so yeah there's the bug uh i always recommend really because i mean which is easier to, to see and easier on the eyes to see what the bug like if i'm talking about the bug do you really want to look at all this um or do you want to just have a quick crop you know, and then, oh, there it is. So, um, this probably isn't a great example for this. I can probably show you guys a one a little bit later with a different game. Um, but yeah, it's, it's a good idea to always try and crop everything out. That's not necessarily important to the bug. So, 
Okay, so you'll notice with this one, actually, I haven't proofed it or anything like that, but uh, I went ahead and stripped out all the steps and the results and expected results. Uh, so you may be required to put those in your bugs, depending on where you end up. Uh, but there are a lot of times those just simply aren't needed. Like it's such a simple, hey, this happens kind of bug. When it happens, it happens. You're going to see it no matter what. Um, sometimes people still like to put the you know, steps and expected results and all that stuff on there. And that's fine if you want to. But I don't know. I, I, I write dozens of bugs a day so if i can shave a little bit of you know time off of one of them i'm, I'm going to and it still be good yeah i'm going to take those steps so all right so uh the only thing i really want to note is that please note that this is with text set to instant rather than the default drawn text display speed uh if i actually really really should jump in and test it out to make sure it doesn't actually happen with the uh with the non uh with the drawn text as well and I'm going to feel really guilty if I don't, so I'm going to jump in and test that real quick. <clears throat> so real quick, side note, this is kind of a, I guess, a thing you could bug, um, although some people would argue it's not a bug. So reset to default is not consistent through all these. So the only menu that has reset to default is uh, control. So everything else, if you were to not remember what the default was, you're kind of, you know, SOL. Uh, but I would actually probably bug that there's not a reset the default option for every one of these menus or, you know, at least one that is, you know, the one default to rule them all kind of thing. So um, just a side note, if you were ever looking for a bug, that kind of inconsistency could definitely do the trick. Okay, I found it actually does not do it. Uh, so it is a direct uh, result of whatchamacallit. Hang on, let's see if it does it real quick. Come on, show me another one. Yeah, sure. Come on, heresy. Let's do it. Why is it doing instant now? It turned off instant. Huh. His must be different. Weird. So I guess different characters uh, speak in different ways? I'm not entirely sure. Okay, there you saw it. Right there. Uh, whenever you see it draw on. There we go. So yeah, it has something to do with that instant text, uh, it seems. So yeah, I'm definitely glad that I would mention that. And I'm definitely glad I tested it. So uh, let's go back over to the bug. So yeah, I definitely almost let my laziness get the best of me. Um, so, all right, I've mentioned that. I think we're all good. We're going to send this one off, and we'll move on to the next one. Okay, so uh, I actually decided to just do one last one since it's already almost a 15-minute video. Uh, it'll probably end up being about 15 minutes. So whenever you're turning the pages of the book, uh, let me go ahead and show the uh, video of it. When you're turning the pages of the book, these uh, arrows, these sort of markers, will clip into the book. They sort of like retract into it um, as the pages are being turned, and it looks pretty, I guess, clippy. Um, it's very clippy. Um, but uh, like I said before, you want to, like, if I were to put on this whole screenshot, I mean, yeah, sure, it's obvious I circled it, but let's go ahead and see what it looks, if it looks better and more obvious whenever I crop it. All right, so that's really obvious. It's like front and center. This, not as much. This, very front and center. So. Let's go ahead and save that. Okay, so the colored arrow markers in the game's book manual clip. I could just use one of these, I guess. In the game's book. Here, you know what? I want to do this. Make it look like a proper noun. Menu. All right, there we go. Game's book menu. Oh, I'm bold it for you. Yeah. Clip into the book as the pages are being turned. Steps, uh, open the game's glossary menus. Yeah, sure, fine. Uh, turn the pages, observe the colored arrow markers will clip into the book as the pages are turned. Uh, we see results, the markers clip into the book. Expected results, the markers do not clip. Uh, here's actually a thing where, you know how I don't usually like to do this, but I'm gonna do it anyway. I've been actually doing a lot of design work lately, so <laughs> kind of hard to turn it off. Anyway, uh, perhaps the markers could fold into the pages as they are turned. Um, now, there are some games that actually do this pretty well, and they I could do a demonstration. I could, uh, and you know, actually, to be honest, if I were making that design um, suggestion and I'm working as a developer that would be cool with that, I would actually go find the example of another game that does it, uh, sort of folding the tabs. I think, I'm trying to think of another game that does it. I know I've got one plenty in my head right now but or not in my head right now but I know there's plenty um, anyway uh, yeah I would definitely supply that as an example so let's go ahead and slot in our screenshot though in our uh, video video demo, demo. I just say demo because like I said, I'm not sure if you can tell I'm very sick right now um, all right let's go ahead and get that uploaded you guys cannot see because I'm uploading it to my Google Drive on the other screen and I run with a uh, 
at least three screens on my setup. Usually it's four or five, but that's not a brag. It's just like I, I, I think it's very important to have multiple screens. Um, obviously not like absolutely unbelievably important, but it, it's pretty, pretty important. It will definitely help your productivity, that's for sure. Um, even if you don't think it will, it will. All right, so, uh, oh yeah, our screenshot. Hang on, let's do that. Bam. Screenshot, come here. Yay. All right, cool. Um, I think we got everything. And uh, you know what? Let's go and send that off. And I guess that's it for today. Uh, I may make a short or something later on. I'm not sure. It depends how I feel later. Sorry. I'm kind of doing a lot of talking and belly aching. So, all right, guys. Uh, thank you so much for watching. If you have any questions, comments, or concerns, anything like that, feel free to reach out. Uh, you can always hit us up on the Discord. Um, yeah, that's it. So, thanks a lot, guys. Have a good one.